from your perspective, what is a good kitchen design? I think that a good kitchen design and good design in general um, is one where the client never, ever has to use the phrase, why did they do that? Or why did they put that there? Everything has like a place, you're Everything saying? has a place, yeah. And, and your space can be totally intuitive. You don't have to think about how to use something. You don't have to think of where to turn to get this or that. It just, it flows so easily. Um, and in general, that, that I think is what makes good, um, good kitchen design. And that, uh, coupled with the, the aesthetic look, obviously too, incorporating that, I'm assuming, is there anything particular you tend towards from a design perspective, as far as, you know, the, um, the way a kitchen's laid out or how that functions? Yeah, the the layout of a kitchen is kind of what makes it function and what makes it flow and what makes it intuitive to use. Um, so there are, you know, particular orders of how things are put in a kitchen that makes it easy to use. Um, different, essentially, stations that you use for, you have like a, a cooking station, you have a cleaning station, and so kind of your sink and everything that you use for cleanup and your dishes would kind of be located in one area, um, everything used for cooking and baking would kind of be in another area. Um, prepping food could be in yet another area from, say, baking. Um, so those are all super important um, elements. The, the actual layout of the guts of the kitchen, um, you know, more so than the aesthetics of it, um, but just where the units are put. Mm -hmm. And the aesthetics just has a lot to do with probably the materials you're using. We kind of talked about countertops. Yeah. We had a little discussion on countertops yeah. of granite, quartz, yes. and laminate. Mm -hmm. Those are the three, right? Yeah. Yep, those are the three kind of main choices that people use. Yeah. Can you give me a little recap on those three? A recap. Yeah. yeah. Um, so laminate countertops are kind of your starting point um, that you'll see in you know a lot of normal homes, um, say a starter home or an apartment, um, you'll see laminate. It's affordable. Um, the look of it has actually come a long ways over the past, you know, decade or two. So, um, it does look nice. Um, it, it's not going to stain, um, but it is going to scratch mm -hmm. if you have a kid who decides to cut his peanut butter and jelly sandwich on it. Um, it is going to get damaged if you accidentally set a hot pot on it. Um, and then you have quartz, which is um, literal quartz from the earth that is crushed and then put back together with a resin um, to create a solid surface um, material. Um, so it is about, you know, 94% actual stone and then, you know, dyes and resin and all of that to... Um, to make it a huge variety of, of colors and looks. Um, and that is fairly maintenance free. Um, you, you know, super hard to scratch. You'll damage your knives before you scratch it. Um, still with quartz or with natural stone, um, people should still be careful about putting like a hot pot from the oven on it just because the difference of you know the hot and the cold, stone is always really cold. Um, that can create a heat crack. Um, and then your countertop is toast, unless you wanna live with a crack. <laughs> um, but it looks really great. It's super durable. Um, with quartz, you don't necessarily have to keep it sealed, at least not very often. Um, with a granite or a marble, um, that is actually a, a full slab of rock cut out of the earth and it goes on your countertop in the way that it comes out of the earth. Um, more raw. Yeah, no. um, a lot more raw, a lot more um, wide variety in, in what it looks like, even in the same you know, family of stones. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very unique and individual. Um, so people really like it for that. Um, 
granite and marble and, um, and quartzite, which is a full slab of quartz that's not crushed and ground up, um, have really varying degrees of, of hardness. Um, so some of the softer stones like a marble can stain um, with, say, you know, red wine or grape juice or beets. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it can, like acid can change the finish of it. Yeah. Um, so it's a little more high maintenance. Um, some of them, like quartzite, can be really very hard where they kind of are, are on par with a, with a quartz um, solid surface mm-hmm. um, as far as durability. So they're all, they're all great choices. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, another choice would be like a wood. Some people put chopping blocks and they're built into their countertops, mm-hmm. um, which are the places where they can feel comfortable setting their hot pot, um, where they can just use it for a chopping block without having to get something out of mm-hmm. the cabinet. So, um, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. And, um, and then the other element of the kitchen I want to like hit on is cabinetry. Um, talk a little bit about, um, how cabinetry, uh, cabinetry plays into the, the function in the kitchen. And then mm-hmm. yeah, a little bit about what we offer too, with the three lines of right. cabinetry here at JNRS. Um, so I think one of the big things with, um, making sure your cabinets are really giving you the most bang for your buck for, um, making sure it's functional and usable and makes the most use of the space is to, um, determine what you want to put inside your cabinets, um, meaning the, the, the inserts that make storing your things um, more efficient. Um, it can be something as simple as a, a silverware divider um, that you use for not only your, only your silverware, but for your larger cooking utensils, um, you know, extra large dividers in your drawers for your little baking things. Mm-hmm. Um, tray dividers to keep your cookie sheets and cake pans and stuff upright so you don't have a big stack that you have to fight with um, to get them out of the cabinet. Um, Built-in waste baskets um, are things that we put in all the time. Yeah, Yeah. I see some really cool little, they're coming up with some really interesting little gadgets and cabinetry. Yeah, Yeah. Um, some of my favorites are um, pullouts that, people put next to their ranges for storing spices and utensils. Um, they even have, um, some really cool knife blocks that you can put in your pullouts now so that they're kept safely, um, in the cabinets. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've seen like dog bowls and stuff built into Mm -hmm. cabinetry. It's kind of like endless what you can incorporate in there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually in, uh, when I worked in California, we had a client who, um, they had a small dog that they had with them all the time, but he was crate trained, I'm assuming, mm-hmm. because they had their peninsula in their tiny little Oakland kitchen. Underneath was a was a kennel for the dog. Instead of having you know more cabinets, um, we actually built a kennel right into the cabinet, um, so you didn't have like the awkward you know giant crate in the right. corner of your house. Right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from there, I guess, you know, what, uh, you know, so it's kind of functionality. Then what, what are your options sort of when you're thinking about, you know, you kind of mentioned the countertops or these mm-hmm. different options. What is, what are sort of the basic standard options for cabinetry then? Oh, for like the finish? Yeah, like wood versus yeah. whatever. Yeah, um, there's a huge variety um, available now. Of course, you know, you your basic standards are going to be a variety of wood um and that you can finish from light to dark um there are grayish stains now that really look nice in some um in some new homes and kind of tone down the mm-hmm. the yellowness of some of the woods um if people don't like that but also don't want a painted cabinet um you can paint a cabinet you know any color you want mm-hmm. um and um, there also are laminate options for cabinetry doors, mm-hmm. um, which can give you a really great, um, super durable 
a yeah. cabinet that's not going to you know get damaged like wood is um, especially if you've got kids running around yeah. <laughs> um, so that's gonna um, that's kind of gonna be your your tank there um, yeah. and with laminates you can also get kind of a wider variety of, of looks you can get wood grain looks you can get maybe more um, a wood grain that looks a little more rustic than what you typically be able to get with an actual finished wood right. safely um, and you can go to you know super high gloss white high gloss mm -hmm. red if you want to or um, uh, it's kind of a, a multitude yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what as far as the the lines that we offer mm -hmm. um, what what are the differences between those I know um, Seville mm -hmm. is one of our more popular lines yeah. you talk about what um, kind of just distinctly what Seville offers that yeah. in that line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our um, Sevillas are what we call our fully customizable line of cabinets. Um, and there's actually two branches with Seville. There is your traditional framed Seville line, um, which actually has a, a face frame mm -hmm. on the front of the cabinet um, that the door goes in front of, and you can kind of see that frame around the outside of the cabinet. Um, and then they have a branch that's called Lucerne, and that is a European-style frameless cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got the three sides of your cabinet box, um, and there is no face frame on the front, so the door gets attached directly to the box of the cabinet instead of the frame. And that's what they call full access, right? Or is that different? Yeah, uh, that's full access. Seville, Seville can get you a full access as, well, no. A full Seville can get you a full overlay where if you want that look of no edges. Mm -hmm. um, and the frameless would be considered, yes, a full access because you actually have access to the whole width of the cabinet, the whole height of the cabinet. There's no lip that you have to go around. On my cabinets at home, I have to turn the plate to get it out sometimes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and so it, it seems like such a little thing because yeah. it's, you know, you're gaining maybe an inch, yeah. but, um, with kitchens, it, it makes a difference. Yeah. Um, especially when you're putting a drawer or some sort of a pullout in, mm -hmm. in your cabinet box. Um, if you put it in a framed cabinet box, you're losing, right. um, losing you have that. Space. Yeah. Um, and it, every half an inch counts in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah.